fist round is the most important round in the game and mastering it can help you get four free rounds, increasing the chances of you winning the game significantly. Hey, this is your favorite Radiant Zero and I'm back with another juicer for you guys. In this guide, I'll go in depth on the most important aspects of Pistol Round, including movement, economy, my Radiant practice routine, and so much more. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into the video. First and foremost, I have to talk about mindset. Considering that Pistol Round is your first round together with your teammates, and that solo queue is full of throwers and toxic players, Winning the piss round and setting the mood for the game is crucial. Even in Immortal and Radiant matchmaking, many toxic players decide to throw and give up after losing just the first two rounds. Like, you hear coming out of your eyes. Words out, bro, because obviously you're stuttering. You have something going on in life. You sound like there are tears are coming out of your eyes. The face is red as To prevent this, I highly suggest not auto-locking and creating a positive team environment during the agent select screen. If you win the pistol round, make sure to force the following round and buy specters, marshals, and rifles. This will hopefully give you another free round and set up your team economically and mentally for the rest of the game. Also, don't forget to hype up your teammates if they got a clip or are playing well, as having a good team mentality can result in a snowball of round wins. But let's be real, there's only one guaranteed way to improve your mentality used by every pro player, and that is skins. Skins are proven to boost your confidence, greatly increasing your win rate, which is why I decided to partner with Buff. Buff is a free application authorized by Overwolf that gives you buff points for simply playing your favorite games such as Valorant, League of Legends, CSGO, and Fortnite. Sing, sing, sing. These buff points can be redeemed for many amazing rewards such as game keys, gaming mice, keyboards, gift cards, and most importantly those juicy Valorant skins. All you have to do is run Buff in the background when you're playing your favorite games and complete some of their simple challenges. You may be saying, but Cero, this sounds almost too good to be true. But trust me when I say it's completely safe. Buff makes their money directly from ads and monthly subscriptions and has no effect on your computer's performance. One of the neat things about Buff is that there's an in-app leaderboard which allows you to flex on your broke friends. Getting skins is so simple and effortless that there's no reason to not get Buff. So try Buff for free using my link in the description and start redeeming your favorite skins today. So thank you Buff for sponsoring this video. So now that your skins are all juiced up, Let's talk about the importance of building a solid economy. At the start of both this round, each player receives 800 credits to spend on utility, pistols, and armor. And instead of saving these credits, think of them as an investment. Investing wisely on the upcoming rounds can economically set up your team for the entire game. Since many players don't know what to buy, they simply default to a ghost and whatever utility they can afford. However, doing this results in unnecessary round losses as having a concrete plan for the this round is incredibly important. You may be asking, so what do I buy exactly? When deciding on your buy, the most important factors to consider are the map you're playing, the agents you're using, and the fights you'll be taking. Let's begin with all the different pistols you can buy and the best ways to abuse them. First up is the all-reliable right-click stick, aka the classic. The classic is perfect for the attacking side due to its high versatility since it's highly effective at long-medium ranges with its left-click and it's overpowered at close ranges with its right-click. The fact that it's free allows you to opt for armor and util or completely max out on your util in order to support your team. When deciding on your classic skin, I suggest you either go with the Prime Classic or the Drip Top Glitch Pop, as they are known to increase your accuracy. If you're ever unsure of what pistol to buy, just remember that the Classic is by far the most safe option since it's free and extremely powerful in most scenarios. The Shorty is extremely cheap, coming in at only 150 credits and can consistently one-shot enemies at close ranges, but it's quite worthless in any other scenario. Buying Shorties on pistols and ecos is something you really should be doing since it allows you to get one or even two free kills on unsuspecting opponents. The major advantage of the shorty is its low price, which makes it a very low risk investment. One underrated strategy that not many players utilize is the ability to keep a classic while still taking advantage of the shorty. In order to do this, drop your shorty on the floor and keep your classic equipped. Then quickly pick the shorty back up after the round starts. This allows you to have a backup classic just in case you need to rotate. An insane strategy that I strongly recommend with Jet is to buy only a shorty on pistol and save the two following rounds, which allows you to buy an op even if you lose both rounds. I abused the hell out of this in my climb to Radiant since most players wouldn't expect to be facing oppers this early into the game. Although most players don't bother with shorty skins, if you're a big ball of Shakala, then I suggest you pick up the Oni shorty to demolish your opponents in style. So always remember that you can abuse the shorty on pistol rounds and eco rounds to catch the enemies off guard. Next up, the running gun machine gun, aka the frenzy, comes in at a fair price of 450 credits. This beauty is fully automatic and very effective at close ranges as it allows you to abuse running gun, earning yourself some easy kills. The Frenzy is one of the best options for duelists such as Jet or Raze, who need to entry for their team since it leaves you with extra money for utility and since it's perfect for running and gunning. When it comes to the skins, there are many to choose from, but the Glitch Pop is the one that guarantees you aimbot. 
So if you're entering as a duelist, consider buying the Frenzy as it's always going to be a very solid choice. If none of the previous pistols fit your playstyle, then the Ghost likely will. The Ghost is the most common pistol for players to buy as it gives you the potential to one-tap those with no armor, has lots of ammo, and is flexible in its ability to get kills from mid to long ranges. When watching lower rank players, the biggest mistake I notice is players spamming left click while standing completely still. This is a terrible idea because the Ghost becomes extremely inaccurate since you're leaving the gunfight to luck, making you very inconsistent. In order to maximize the strength of the Ghost, it's always best to be strafing and slowly tapping, while consistently aiming for the clean headshot. However, its high cost of 500 credits limits the player to no armor and only some abilities such as one jet smoke. When it comes to the skin, Tens and Asuna would agree with me that the Sovereign Ghost is the best deal in Easy Frags. For agents or playstyles that don't require much utility, such as Reyna, you simply can't go wrong with the Ghost. <laughs> Lastly, Tens' favorite pistol, the Deagle, comes in at 800 credits, which leaves no money for abilities or armor. An advantage of the Deagle on piss rounds is that it only takes two body shots to kill an enemy with no armor, which lets duelists such as Jet and Reyna take quick fights and disengage before they can be traded. There are many good Sheriff skin options, but I've been using the Arcane since I love the unique takeout animation. If you're confident in your aim and like to play aggressive, then a Deagle is perfect for you. One of the most important aspects of piss round that you suck at but can easily improve is your movement. When it comes to piss round, movement comes even before your aim since it'll help you land clean one taps while making it much harder for your opponents to hit you. In Valorant, you'll always run faster with pistols than you would with rifles, so use this knowledge to your advantage and never stop moving. A huge mistake I often see low rank players make is that they crouch way too often, especially on piss rounds. On piss rounds, you almost never want to be crouching since it makes you a lot easier to headshot and kill. Instead, you constantly want to be strafing as it makes it much harder for your opponents to hit you while making your shots as easy to connect as possible. If you watch my positioning guide, then you know it's essential to constantly be peeking and unpeeking from different angles. However, this is even more important on piss rounds due to the quicker movement, making it impossible for the opponents to predict where you'll peek next. Knowing this, remember to strafe back and forth while taking fights to have way more success on piss rounds. Moving on to the role of your agent. Piss rounds will naturally play out different from gun rounds since the weapons and utility in play are confined, meaning that based off your agent, you'll want to change up your playstyle and game plan considerably. First off, since shorties are very common in piss round, when you're attacking, you'll always want to have someone purchase abilities such as a Boomba or a Skydog in order to clear those close angles. Additionally, Remember that sentinels such as Cypher and Chamber should always invest into abilities to stop flanks since many players tend to fast flank on piss rounds. With every agent, it's always important to ask yourself, is there a better use for this later into the round? Abilities such as the Sage Wall will have different impacts on piss round since Sage Wall is significantly harder to break with pistols. For this reason, many high level Sage players tend to save their walls for retake in order to help them defuse the bomb. Also, keep in mind that support agents will inherently have more value in the post ban situation than duelists such as Jedarena. Viper and Sova, for example, will need to save their mollies and shock darts for the post plant, where they can delay the defuse significantly, ultimately winning the round. With this in mind, remember to always fill the role of your agent to ensure that first round win and watch your winner's car rocket. Now, let's talk about the most important deciding factor of high ranked pistol rounds, and that is team play. Team play is especially key on piss rounds, as working with your teammates will allow you to make round winning plays that you couldn't have made otherwise. For example, you can set up bait where your teammates distract the opponents, giving you the opportunity to catch them with their pants down, granting you an easy round win. Another simple yet effective play is to rush an isolated enemy with your teammates, such as a new hull bind. This works very well on piss rounds, as you can easily overrun the vulnerable opponents that will have insufficient ammo to fight back. Additionally, if you want to make a play, Never be scared to ask your teammates to flash or drone you in, as this can significantly increase your chances of you taking the site. So remember to always communicate and coordinate your plays with your team, as this will get you free kills, resulting in an easy pistol round. Now, moving on to the part of the video that most of you guys have been waiting for, my Radiant Pistol Aim Routine to win every pistol round. Unlike CSGO, where one of the best ways to improve is through pistol-only deathmatches, Valorant doesn't have the luxury of community servers, so we have to rely on other methods. Although some players sit in deathmatches to practice their aim, I would advise against it because you'll get one tapped by vandals and struggle to pick fair fights, giving you little to no practice. Instead, I prefer doing all my pistol aim training in the range, which has everything you could possibly need. My practice routine consists of two main sections, the practice bots and the eliminate 100, or PE 100 for short. I mostly practice with the sheriff and ghost because let's be honest, the other pistols don't require much skill. So first, begin with the practice bots. Make sure you start off slow and smooth. Like I previously mentioned, you always want to take your time to aim instead of relying on random luck. Once you feel like you're hitting your shots, start to increase the speed of your flicks. This should help significantly with your micro flicks and adjustments. Once my aim feels crispy, I move on to eliminate 100 to finish off my routine. Here, I take out a ghost and focus on my movement and counter strafes. Considering how crucial movement is on piss rounds, you need to practice your movement even more than your aim. If your counter strafing is off, 
practice on a wall to get used to the timing and develop proper muscle memory. The best part about this routine is that you don't need to use it every day, but it will still help tremendously when you feel like your aim is lacking on pistol rounds. Keeping a strong mentality, understanding the economy, being mindful of your movement, and constantly practicing will help you improve and win way more pistol rounds. Huge shout outs to everyone who recently boosted my Discord server, links in the description. If you haven't yet joined, consider doing so to become a part of the community and participate in our events and giveaways. If you're struggling to find a perfect crosshair, consider watching my in-depth crosshair guide. If you found this guide helpful, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Peace.